Nancy Drew fan for one, and I'm playing Nancy Drew, Treasure in the Royal Tower. Let's see, just come a little bit here. Alright. So we were about to talk to Professor Hotchkiss to get the translation of that journal. A decoder? She has a decoder. She has way too much time on her hand, that's what she does. Translation and the decoder is on the stable over here. Honor shall be blue, courage shall be red, and loyalty shall be green. Interesting. Ooh, that's good. A for the rose. Old diamond. Key and queen. I knew that. <laughs> I don't know, you're the detective. Uh, oh, there's loyalty. Huh, I wonder. There's courage and honor. That's interesting. Because that, those are the words in this here. And blue, red, and green are the colors of the medallion. Interesting. should take another look at that royal tower. Again, um, and uh, you know, do some stuff, and then you'll see once we get in where, uh, where I'm going. Uh, oops, I, I went the wrong way. Sorry, guys. Uh, oh, why, why don't we just take the elevator? It would be quicker that way. Sound of the elevator moving. Play Nancy Drew means a lot, that is. I have that puzzle in a lot of Nancy Drew games. 
I know it's not too late, see I'm getting the key. the designs to get into this royal tower. I mean, like, they must have had a lot of time on their hands. Okay. And here we are. And here's the queen key, as I'll be calling it. See why we got that chisel from that night now? Uh-huh. Okay. I think these symbols have to do with honor, courage, and loyalty, which have to do with colors. Alright, let's see if I can remember that's right. Talking to me. What about day out? Lisa? <laughs> That's weird. What happened? Nice, Lisa. Yeah, seriously, Lisa, you must be kidding her. Castle is resting easier now that Mary Antoinette's journal and her famous diamond are safe and sound. The journal, the diamond, and the medallion are all going to be oh, well, well, well I, I guess I'm just talking so. First she missed her plane to Rio, and now she's going to be charged with attempted grand theft. Professor Hotchkiss is thrilled because the French government has granted her permission to publish Marie's journal in the U.S. before it gets returned to France. This ought to help prove her theory about Marie's character once and for all. Good for you, Hotchkiss. Thanks to Jacques and his great-grandfather's efforts to find the journal, the Brunet's name is being celebrated all over France. I wonder if it's Brunet or Brunet. In the meantime, 
time Jacques and Isabel have a look. It's so romantic. I showed Dexter the poem that Ezra Wakeford wrote him, and uh, all the talk shows want Dexter to talk, to tell his story on national television, but he keeps turning them down. I guess he doesn't want to be famous or infamous. But when Chrissy Lane called and asked Dexter to be her business partner, he is skeptically accepted. Their business sense and Dexter's expert knowledge of the castle, I think they'll make a great team. So you know what they say. In this gem trop, let the change the history. It's never too late to change history. Me? I'm determined to go out and enjoy the snow before some other cakes come time. See you soon. Love, Nancy. And that's it. Thanks for watching my walkthrough.